Why is it that civilized humanity can make this world so wrong? In this hurly burly of insanity, our little dreams cannot last long. We've reached a deadline, a press headline. Every sorrow, blues value, is news value tomorrow. Blues, twenty-first century blues. Getting me down. Who escapes those weary twenty-first century blues? Why, if there's a god in the sky, oh, why shouldn't she grin? Twenty-first century dim. In this strange illusion, chaos and confusion, people seem to lose their way. What is there to strive for? Love or keep alive for? is the voice of Rusty Rebar, poet, playa, p- what am I? I'm, a, I'm like a, what, B-list, C-list? What would you say, Finny? I'd say a D-list. Oh, you're so, you're so kind. D for dramatic. And yeah, the D-list at Burning Man. Well, yes. We, we dystopian. Don't, we don't get invited to the cool kids' camps very often, or ever, in fact. You know, So we have to make our own cool kid camp. That's the great thing about Burning Man. Everyone's a celebrity here. You know, it's your chance to shine, and I hope you're out there putting people's eyes out with your brightness because this is it. That's what we come here for, is to be as bright as we can be in the darkness, on the dust. And, uh, yeah, it's it's um, a raison d'etre, as it were. Well, Rusty should get in a plug about his last appearance, scheduled appearance. You know, you might find him anywhere, certainly at the end of 4 o'clock at El Laissez-Faire, where, you know, some version of the Japanese healing, Aswash, incorporated, trademark, registered, copyright, will be... Uh, on offer, and uh, it's healing, it's uh, refreshing, it uh, might be just what you need, and you will be on your knees, so you be prepared to need it, and, um, you know, we're trained, we're friendly, it's, it's, it's completely sanitary, there's no reason to wear any sort of protection, is that right, Michael? I mean, it's not any... No, because it, it'll just get wet. <laughs> Yeah, we're uh, we're trained. It's a system developed by uh, Utah, who's passed out here on the floor. Otherwise, I could ask him some questions about how he came to uh, create this this incredible gift to the playa. Because you know, we offer free estimates, right? Free inspection, free inspection, and 
it's it's all free. We don't really ask anything in return, except uh, your promise that you won't get mad. <laughs> That's true. And the last uh, three people that came for uh, the wash were given a plane ride afterwards by Captain Ed. Yeah. Well, they, that was for their participation in the uh, research, the research part of the program, and uh, you know. It was uh, a successful research program, and we're pushing forward with the full rollout. You know, we do have some, uh, what's that stuff called, uh, v VC? We have our VC to burn through, and, uh, you know, so you should get out to the end of 4 o'clock to Camp Open Wound. Our Viet Cong? What do you mean by VC? Venture Capital. Oh, Come thank you, on, sir. Venture Capital. Know your acronyms. It's an important thing. Know, know your stuff, and then some. Uh, let's listen to a PSA. Exodus. What is it? A book of the Bible. A novel about the founding of the state of Israel. A movement of Ja people. No. It's how we all get the hell home. You can get home smart, or you can do it all wrong. It's up to you. Here's how to do it right. First of all, secure your load. Don't trash the roads on your way home. Only leave trash at designated dumping stations. Plan ahead, and stagger your departure with campmates if possible. Leave early, leave late, leave in the wee hours. Just don't plan to leave when everyone else is. Sunday and Monday are the busiest. That's common sense. If traffic is bad, the Exodus crew will institute pulsing. Pulsing doesn't get you to the road faster. It just gets you there saner, safer, and less stressed out, letting you turn off your car for an hour at a time. If pulsing is on, use the opportunity to start a one-hour neighborhood. It'll help pass the time, and it might be where you meet the best friend you'll ever have. I love you, man. See you next year. <laughs> yes, that guy. Thanks, Exodus. 94.5 BMIR. See you never. Is, uh, that's what we like to say. Is, See you never, friends. But, yeah, it's, a, it's true. We are looking at a situation here where people are having too much fun. And the word is Exodus was great last year because people weren't having that much fun. And they, and they left early. And it, and it was swell. So get the fuck out. GFO, if you're feeling any way that you don't want to sit and be pulsed, you should pack up because that's the reality of the situation. There's 60,000 people in here, and there's a one-lane way out. So it's um, really up to us to, uh, as many of us, please leave now. Get out. Lo, go. Leave. Um, not that we don't love you. We just want to wave. See you never and uh, like that. Let me feel you moving like this 
fantastic story I've ever heard. And every word of it's true, too. That's the fantastic part of it. BMIR. 94.5. The voice of the man. The essence of the heart of now is the practice of being present with your whole self. In the heart of now workshop, you'll come to know yourself more deeply. You'll discover the possibility of reconnection with your innate beauty, wholeness, and be honest with yourself and with others in a safe circle of love. You can discover those places you felt stuck while you're supported in letting go. You learn to become aware of those times when you get in your own way and come to see the choices open to you. You embrace what you desire the most and deeply commit to letting your dreams and your visions be more important than your past wounds. You will find yourself reconnecting with your innate beauty, wholeness, and power in each moment. 
Heart of Now workshops include numerous assistance to help support you and create a sacred space for transformation. This teamwork approach deepens the experience of service and camaraderie, where all are able to experience their vulnerabilities, allowing trust and growth. The Heart of Now, three days only, 10.45 a.m. to 12.45 p.m., Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, at Poly Paradise, Biggie Size, and 4.45. BMIR. This year's temple at Burning Man was designed by Greg Fleischman, Melissa Barron, and Lightning Clearwater 3. It's constructed completely out of interlocking wood pieces that fit together with no nails, glue, or metal fasteners. The Temple of Holiness offers Burning Man participants the space to reflect upon how to become more whole. It incorporates a symbolic visual history of the mysteries of sacred places, artifacts, and monuments. At the apex of the Temple's Central Pyramid, is an eye of providence. Inside the temple's central pyramid is an altar, 12 feet wide and 12 feet high, and a nuxuk, fabricated out of black stone. A nuxuk is an Intuit word meaning an image of a person's spirit. There are structures composed of stacked rocks in a human form, and they're often used as navigation aids. The traditional meaning of the nuxuk is you are on the right path. According to the designers of the Temple of Holiness, this black rock focal point in the temple grounds the temple space and acts as a guidepost for those looking for the right direction and a safe passage through this life. BMI 94.5, the voice of the man. I am Decibel, and over there, uh, oh, let's see, I've given you how many different fly names? Which what? one? That one, that one that you're tapping oh, it's on. Working. Yeah, Thank that you. sounds fantastic. Mm. Thanks. <laughs> Tap it harder. See what happens. I hate you. <laughs> so, uh, you said it. So I'm Decibel, and that is Chicken Head. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's, oh, dear God. That's your new fly name, your Chicken Head. I prefer Captain Cluck. Captain Cluck. All right, Captain Cluck. Let's, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. It's Friday night. Uh, there's a lot of burns going on. and there are things happening out there. There are many things happening out there. So here's the deal. While there's a lot happening on the way out of here, that's why you've been hearing everybody tell you to GTFO or just GFO, which I don't quite get exactly. Yeah, there's a there's a letter missing in that acronym. Okay, good. That's that's what I thought. Mm. GTFO means get the frack out. <laughs> See, I'm being... Oh, wait, it's after 10 o'clock. Now get it's the, an environmental message. It's after 10 o'clock. Get the fuck out. Um, <laughs> so here's the deal. There is going to be a massive, massive exodus if people don't start leaving. So here's the deal. Think about when you want to get out of here and when you would like to arrive back in the default world. Um, plan on that, and that way you can actually avoid being stuck in hours upon hours of exodus and pulsing and oh dear, sitting in the hot sun with a half tank of gas going, I'm never going to get out of here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And only your leftover tuna fish and ramen to Ooh. snack on. Ew. That sounds so bad. <laughs> so here's the deal. The man burns tomorrow night. Uh, a smart move would be to get out before the man burns. I'm not saying. I'm just saying. In the in the last couple of years, people have actually figured out that hmm. you can leave Burning Man before the man burns. You can leave before the temple you burns. You can do that. It, you know what? And actually this year, that might be the smart thing to do. I hate to say it. I don't want anybody to miss out on their fun. Mm -hmm. But if you don't leave... Guess what? Your fun's going to cost you hours upon hours of your life trying to run back home to uh, to real home, not, <laughs> not, not, not fly a home. So, meow. meow. Did you just say meow? What? Did you just meow at me? What? You're, you're chickening and then you're meowing at me. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, fantastic. I'm going to play a song. Uh, what song should I play? Oh, I know exactly what song I'm playing. Uh-oh. Yes, this is raunchy. <laughs> <laughs> In the motherfucking house. Yeah, Gusto's in the motherfucking yeah. house with my man Dead Mike. We break the motherfuckers off 24 7. So check this shit out. Hey, yo, Gusto. What's up? Check that Straight shit. Straight out of low cash. A crazy motherfucker named Gusto. I fuck your wife because the bitch is a big hoe. I fuck your sister. I fuck your cat. I will fuck your mom, but the bitch is too fat. When I'm in your neighborhood, you better dig a moat because I'm coming to slick. Your motherfucking broke. Blood is dripping. I'm not slipping. Bitches panties is what I'm ripping. Rolling faster than a motherfucking dirt bike. Never met a piece of pussy that I didn't like. Like to eat it. Like to suck it. Take a 
shit in the bucket, straight out of low cash. Crazy motherfuckers. Ha ha. Yeah. Where you from, nigga? Yeah. Coming straight out of low cash. A crazy motherfucker named Dead Mike. So get ready, cause you're going for a long hike off a cliff. I'm driving you over. Now you're dead with your four leaf clover. Like a cannonball, sting like a shark. I'm the nigga waiting for you in the dark. Waiting to rob you, waiting to beat you. A bullet in your head is how I'll treat you. A villain with a hat, and it's like that. I tied your mom to a motherfucking train track. Flat on her back, I gave her some crack. It's 10 o'clock. Do you know where your mom's is at? At my house. Do it right. Wiping her ass, she had to move. Straight out of low cap. My R 94.5, the voice of the man. I'm Decibel over there, chicken head. <laughs> wow, that's so disturbing when you do that. <laughs> it's. Does your boyfriend know that you're doing that noise? That I'm half chicken? Does he know that I'm, oh, I'm, I'm doing sure that noise that. with you? Is that the <laughs> real question? Oh, so this is technically. I never did this uh, this year, so this is officially my Pop and Bottles poop show. Whoa. Which, which I normally do, what like, is the poop show. The poop show? I don't say the S word on the air anymore. I've, mm, I've toned it down. I've toned it down. I don't like swearing on the air. I think I think it's offensive. I think I upset people when I swear. And most importantly, I get in trouble when I do. So oh. I don't swear on the air. That Anywhere is astonishingly near considerate of you. Instead, I just play music that has dirty lyrics. <laughs> well, then you can blame it on the artists. Yes, yes. See, the artists, I, I would never censor music i would never censor art this is their art and, right and their art uh. is their gift to you just like uh this song right here <laughs> this is a great song i love that you suggest it no, not that one uh there we go this one yeah it's bmir 94.5 the voice of the man mm -hmm. Dicks. People throughout the world, yeah, it's your pick. What do you want to lick? Pussy, 
a dick. People throughout the world, yeah, it's the pick. What do you want to lick? Pussy, a bitch. People throughout the world. You doubt my name is I Get on your knees, make like the breeze begin to blow But don't give me no Ralph Lauren grin If you're not down to go low I'm all about mouth fucking Only if you're down for dick sucking If not, BJ in the beer, keep trucking And fuck chap sticks I'm coming ashy as hell with chap dicks For your chap ass lips Treating your teeth like dentists As I'm rubbing them With an erection like injections Fuck it, I'll be drugging them Numbing up your console Like ambasaur anesthetic Coming down your Felt like chloroseptic, no time for apology. Girlfriend, if you swallowing, goggling, I'm giving bitches permanent beers. Put your lips here and catch these damn facial hairs in your mouth. Put it in your mouth, mouth. I said your motherfucking mouth, mouth. Or I could just eat you out. Don't you waste it, baby. Slurp it up. It's enough to fill your cup. It's finger looking good. And I wish a nigga would go down. Kind of slow or even fast. I was wrong once I feel your tongue. Motherfucking mouth. And you can just yeah. eat me what out. do you choose to lick? Pussy your dick. People throughout the world, man, it's your pick. It your what mouth. do you choose to lick? Pussy your a dick. People throughout the world, yeah, it's your put pick. It what do you want to lick? Pussy a dick. People throughout the world, yeah, it's your pick. What do you want to lick? Pussy a dick. Stay classy, Black Dark City. Ah! It's BMIR 94.5, the voice of the man, and the man is getting gangster tonight. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, the man is totally geeking out. Uh, um, he's I spinning around in circles right now, as a matter of fact. Uh, yeah. Well, What's that about? He's riding on a UFO, son. Ah, uh, right, I forgot. <laughs> it's hovering. He's popping bottles, too, on the Popping Bottles Poop Show. <laughs> so what were you what were you saying about this? You were vibing out to that song, but what were you what were you trying to say about it not being misogynistic? Right. Well, <laughs> yeah, I was vibing hard to that song because I really love hip hop. I love it so much, but you often encounter really problematic content, misogyny, just I got uh, that coming up. Awesome. Okay, good. Well, <laughs> let's start a checklist right now. Okay. Um, but that song is has such a positive tone. Not only that, but it's super equal opportunity. It's just genuinely celebrating oral sex in all its forms. They spell it out for you. No matter what you lick, pussy or dick, people around the world, it's your pick. How much better does it get than that? That, um, that way. Hang on, hang on. <laughs> there it is. I More you know. I needed to hit that. I'm sorry. <laughs> I needed to hit that. <laughs> and Bob approves too, right, Bob? That was great. See, there you go. <laughs> All right, Thanks, so, Bob. yeah, I'm sure he's sound asleep right now. Uh, or not. I'll probably be getting a radio call here in a minute. What are you doing, idiot? Uh, shouts out to Camp this Envy. This is public service announcement right yeah, here. Yeah. <laughs> sure it is. Uh, shout out to everybody in the uh, Camp Envy chat room right now. They're listening to BMIR. They're streaming. They're watching the webcam. Apparently it's up. It's working. Um, I don't know. Is it? Yeah, it seems to be working. Um, Oatmeal Mama wants to hear big butts, and that's really not going to happen. Um, 
Mm. No. Wait, no. But like, I, I like Big Book and Can I Lie. That one? Yeah. That one's so good. Sir Mix a Lot? Yeah. You're going to make me do that? Yes. I'm going to play a different song first, and then we'll we'll discuss off air whether or not that's actually going to happen. Right. Uh, I'm prepared I, to defend it. It's so top 40 radio. <laughs> like, I'm sorry. I, back in the default world, I work for a top 40 radio station, and we play that song still. That song's like. F- fair enough. Although, mm. although, there have been plenty of radio shows where I heard stuff that I heard, not you know, at skating rink birthday parties when not I was on, uh, 10. Not on mine. Not on mine. <laughs> Damn it, not on mine. This is the Pop and Bottles Poop Show. <sighs> <sighs> right? It's the Pop and Bottles Poop Show? I could just fart directly into the microphone. How about that? I, you know what? I can't help it. Somebody keeps tampering with everything in here, and it's driving me nuts. Like, every time I come in the studio, everything's set up differently. I'm just going to shut up and play mm-hmm. music. Music. Pop and bottles. Po- no, go ahead. Huh? No, that was it. Come on, chicken hand. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Pop and Bottles Poop Show. BMIR 94.5. The very, very shamely, uh, shamefully embarrassed voice of the man. Uh, this one's going out for everybody in Camp NV. I know you know this one. I love this one. Excellent. Here we go, yo. Here we go, yo. So what, so what, so what's the scenario? Here we go, yo. Here we go, yo. So what, so what, so what's the scenario? Hey, yo, Bono's this. What? And Bono's that. What? But Bono no jack. Cause Bono can't rap. Well, what do you know? The dead dog is first up to back. No batteries included and no strings attached. No holes barred. No time for move faking. Got to get to lose so I can bring home the bacon. Brothers front, they say the drop can't flow. But we've been known to do the impossible like Broadway Joe. So sleep if you want, my cool will help you get your Z's true. But here's the real scoop. I'm all that and then some. Drop duck and have some bust a nut inside your eye. To show you where I come from. I'm vexed, fuming. I've had it up to here. My days of pain, dues are over. Technology is in there. Yeah. yeah. Head for the border, go get a taco. I free record from the jump street. Meaning from the get-go. Sit back, relax, and let yourself go. Don't sweat what you heard, but act like you know. Yes, yes, y'all. Yes, y'all. Who got the vibe? It's the tribe, y'all. Tribe, y'all. Tribe, y'all. Tribe, y'all. Tribe, y'all. Tribe, y'all. Inside, outside, come around. Who's that? Round. Some may I say. Bob Marley, lay back on the payback, you Bob will take the gates. Contact, can I get a hit? Hit, boom, fifth with a brother named Tip, and we're ready to flip. East Coast stomping, ripping and rubbing. New York, North Kaka, like a and Compton. Check it, check it, check it out. The loops for the troops, more bounds to the outs, and wow, how now, wow, how now, brown cow. We're ill till the steel gets down for the flex. Next is the textbook old to the new, but the rest are doo doo. The video to Arsenio, tell me, yo, what's the scenario? Blue. Scooby-Doo, whoopie-doo, scenarios, radios, rates more than four. Scores for the scores, that's mother dance scores. Now I go for mine, shades of cheese, sure. Ship shape, plus great eights, the play tapes. Tapes make great straight for the weight of an ally. Still we just the leader. Base in the space means please see you later. Later, 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 alligator. Pop blows the weasel and the earth's the inflator. So yo, the D, what the O? Incorporated INC into a flow. Fuck, flip, black, black, first, this foul. Fight, 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 laugh, yo, how that sound? It's a leader quest mission and we got the good seal. Never on the left, cause my right's my good ear. Yeah. I could give a damn about an ill subliminal. Stay away from crown, so I ain't no criminal. criminal. I love my young nation, movie sensation. No time for hibernation, only elation. Don't ever try to test. Don't want a little kid, no Mr. Buster Rhymes. Tell him what I, I did. I heard you rushed and brushed and attack. Then they rebuke and you had to smack. Causing rambunction throughout the sphere. Raise the levels of the boom inside the air. You know I did it, so don't violate or you'll get violated. The hip hop sound is well agitated. We'll never waste no time on a played out ego. So here's Buster Rhymes with the scenario. Watch as I combine all the juice from the mind. Heal up, wheel up, bring it back. Come rewind, powerful impact, boom, from the cannon, the bragging, try to read my mind, just imagine, hope, can't build, there is necessary, when digging into my library, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, he the guy to the stool like the one big to toss, oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, all over the track, man, oh, uh, pardon me, oh, uh, as I come back, as I did, I had to beg your pardon, when 
the travel to the turn I roll with the squadron. Rawr, rawr, like a dungeon dragon. Change your little jaws with your pants are sagging. Try to step to this, I won't put you in a turban. And have it smell right like the most stale urine. Chuckety Choco, the chocolate chicken. The rear cock diesel, my cheeks, they were kicking. Yo, must it have a fault? The bust, the bust, the the round, the rhythm is in sync. The rounds are on town. Flipping up the sound just like a bitchy yo. Observe the vibe and check out the scenario. Yo, yo, yo. Oh, it's BMIR 94.5, the voice of the man, the tribe called Quest and Chicken Head. Wow. <laughs> it's the voice of the man and the chicken man. The voice man of the chicken person. head man girl. And, and Sham comes in here do. expecting us to be jamming out, and it's like, no, I'm trying to get the next song ready. Mm -hmm. And you just sort of drifted out. She was, was rocking out right before you started walking Braiding my seat. nose hairs. Okay, bye. Bye, Sham. Have fun. <laughs> bye. Don't. All right, so uh, Camp Envy has demanded that I play I Like Big Butts by Sir Mix a lot. Mm hmm. And so, what decision have you reached? So, you're all for this. I'm completely for it. Uh, do you really think I'm going to play it? I think it's just, even though it might be super popular, it's just such a great statement. So many people agree with it. Big Butts. I don't see it happening. <laughs> But I will tell you what, it's the Pop and Bottles Poop Show, which means all I do is play hip hop. And you know what we've got outside? What? Awful lot of honkies in here. Mm, that's yeah. true. Mm. So I am going to uh, do what I can to make this uh, less painful to for me. To de-honkify it? For me, I'm going to make it less painful. Gotcha. For everybody else, it's probably going to be more painful. It's BMIR 94.5, the voice of the man. And the chicken. <laughs> God, Becky, look at her butt. It is so big. I like big butts and I cannot buy. You other brothers can't deny that when a girl walks in with an itty bitty waist and a round thing in your face, you get sprung. God makes me so horny Cause I'm long and I'm strong And I'm down to get the friction on So fellas, fellas Has your girlfriend got the butt? Tell her to shake it, shake it Shake that healthy butt Baby got back Yeah, my <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> 
<laughs> BMIR 94.5, <laughs> the voice of the man. I'm Decibel, that's Chickenhead, and and apparently we have a complaint lodged by uh, one of our people here. I am so, so disappointed in you, Decibel. Why? So disappointed in you. What do I do? The lounge version of Baby Got Back, any version of Baby Got Back on BMIR. Horrible, sir. Disappointing. Deeply disappointed. And you, Captain Clock, I you should be using your powers for good. Out. But didn't you find that oddly pleasant? That's not the point. We have to have standards. They mean something. <laughs> you were saving that rant for a good minute, weren't you? It's bottled up. You need I, to... I care, damn it. I care that much. I'm the worst overnight manager ever. I don't know if you're aware of this or not. <laughs> but now we have a lot to think about. Uh, you know what? Let's let's take some time to think about that real quick. We we're gonna go ahead and um, I'm gonna go put my nose in the corner. Yeah, let's go do that real quick while we play some uh, some information stuff. Okay. You are interested in the unknown, the mysterious, the unexplainable. BMI on ninety four point five, the voice of the man, the voice of Black Rock City. Every day, in extreme heat. Exhausted and in search of liberation, many burners suffer from the lack of one vital component, a costume. The simple form of independence is only footsteps away. Thanks to donations from around the globe, we're able to stop this travesty from happening. So please, if you see an innocent victim, Help them put one foot in front of the other and lead them to free costumes. Tuesday through Saturday, noon to 5 p.m. at 315 in Esplanade. Helping them, helping you, help yourself. We are Costume Cult. Okay, final checklist before this family heads out to the temple burn. I am so ready for this. Headlamps. Check. Snacks. Check. Water. Duh. Check. Tyler's stuffed animal. Mr. Bojangles is locked and loaded. I've packed the extra blanket. I've got Tyler's inhaler. His bike is lit and ready to roll. Let's do this. Oh, this is going to be so awesome. Yes. Yes, it is. Where, where's Tyler? Um... What happens next depends on whether these parents remembered to have fun. The Family Unification Network is a way to make sure your family burns together and returns together. In instances of a lost child or separation, fun helps to reunite children with parents faster. Here's how it works. Parents and children register together at Ranger Headquarters in Center Camp. After providing some simple identifying information, children will receive a unique wristband with a serial number, which will identify the child, parent, or guardian, and camp location. And that's it. Simple. Registration is open daily at Ranger Headquarters before noon and after 2 p.m. Should your child become separated from you, he or she just needs to find a ranger. The wristband will facilitate a speedy reunion. And what does that spell? Fun! <laughs> Remember, parents, Burning Man is a lot better when you remember to have fun. 94.5 BMIR. A lyric of love from Burning Man Information Radio. Fuck Pusha T and anybody that love him. His head up his ass. I'm a have to headbutt him. Another lyric of love. From Burning Man Information Radio. <laughs> that was so deep. That was deep. I, okay, so you have to understand, I had these emailed to me um, a couple of weeks ago, actually probably about two months out from the burn. Um, mm -hmm. An awesome chick that works a uh, perimeter named, uh, her real name is Edie. I don't know what her flying name is, and I feel really, really Edie. bad. Dude, Edie's awesome. Edie works uh, perimeter normally um, and lighthouse mm -hmm. for gate. So if you don't know what that is, don't worry about it. But um, <laughs> Okay, I'm not worried. Yeah, me either. Um, I haven't learned gate, uh, that part of gate yet. Like lighthouse is its own separate thing with perimeter. And mm -hmm. someone that has much more experience than me on working gate can answer that question. But weird story for you. So, okay. uh, so her husband um, decided to volunteer for gate this year in his name. His play name is Decibel. What? Which is why I am not Decibel when I work at Gate. What? What is your Gate name? Agro Jew. <laughs> How did that come about? Kinizzle. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, Knizel yeah, likes to, right. when I start throwing temper tantrums in camps because people like Gray don't put the top of the cooler back on after they get a beer, um, I tend to get a little aggro and start yelling about nonsense. So, Gray, <laughs> you might want to check that cooler top. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Cover the top, damn it. <sighs> so, um, song? Yeah. Um, what do you think, Shorty? Should we, should we bring a little ruckus? Uh, I think we probably should. Okay, let's bring some ruckus. It's via my heart. Shiny shadow boxing. And a Wu Chang sword style. If what you say is true, the Shaolin and the Wu Chang could be dangerous. Do you think your Wu Chang sword can defeat me? <laughs> On guard. I'll let you try my Wu Tang style. Bring the motherfucking ruckus! Bring the motherfucking ruckus! Bring the mother, bring the motherfucking ruckus! Bring the motherfucking ruckus! Don't space, catch the blast of a hype burst. My clock burst, leaving a hearse, I did worse. I come rough, jump like an elephant tusk. Your head rush, fly like Egyptian musk. Aw, oh, shit, we take clear spark the wixen. However, I mastered a trick just like Nixon. Causing terror, quick damage your whole era. Hard rocks is like the fuck up, I found stock. The yellow style, hazardous, cause I wreck this dangerous. I blow spots like Waco, Texas. I watch my back like I'm locked down. Hardcore hit and sound. Watch me act broke and tear down. Oh, you're yeah, a tight asshole. Songs going gold, no doubt. And you're watching corny make the throw. Yeah, they faking all that. Carrying cats with your mind plan. Rolling like 40 max. Now you act convinced. I guess it makes sense. Who can go so represent? I wait for one to act up. Now I got him backed up. Gun to his neck now. React what? And that's one in the chamber. Who can Bang up, 36 styles of danger. Bring the motherfucking ruckus. Bring the motherfucking ruckus. Bring the mother, bring the motherfucking ruckus. Bring the motherfucking ruckus. Bring the mother, bring the mother, bring the motherfucking ruckus. Bring the motherfucking ruckus. Bring the mother, bring the motherfucking ruckus. Bring the motherfucking ruckus. I rip it. Like porno flick bitches I roll with groups of ghetto bastards with biscuits Check it, my method on the microphone's banging Wu-Tang slang, I leave your headpiece hanging Plus this, I'm kicking like Seagull out with justice The rock miss, just the rude miss Fuck this, rap up, I verbally assault with a tongue Murder one, my style shocks you not like a stun gun I'm hectic, I wreck it with the quickness Set it on the microphone, the competition get blown While this nasty ass nigga with my nigga The RZA, charge like a bull and got pulled like a trigger So bad, stabbing up the pad with the boat cap Crabs, I scream on your ass like your dad Bring it all Bring the motherfucking ruckus Bring the motherfucking ruckus Bring the mother, bring the motherfucking ruckus Bring the motherfucking ruckus Yo, I'm more rugged than slave man boots Newbie crooks, I'm fucking up MC troops I break loose and trample shit while I stomp I'm on holding that ass, cause I'm straight out the swamp. Creeping up on sight, now it's fight night. My Wu Tang slang is mad fucking dangerous. And more deadly than the stroke of an axe. Chopping through your back, psh, giving bystanders heart attacks. Niggas trying to flake, tell me who wins them. I blow up this fucking prism, make it a vicious act of terrorism. You wanna bring it, so fuck it. Come on and bring the rockets, then I'll provoke niggas to kick buckets. I'm wet and cream, I ain't wet and fame. Who's selling game? I'm giving out a deadly game. It's it's not the Russian, it's the Wu Tang crushing. Roulette slip up, you get fucked like Suzette. Bring the fucking rockets. Bring the motherfucking rockets. Bring the motherfucking rockets. On guard, I'll let you try my Wu Tang style. by R94.5, the voice of the man, Wu-Tang Clan. Yeah, that's right. I played Wu-Tang Clan. Wu-Tang forever. Awful lot of honkies in here. Yeah, all right. I'll play another song instead. Uh, Chicken Hen went to the porta potty and I think she got lost. So uh, on your way back, uh, bring me cigarettes. It's BMR. And that was an awfully loud explosion. I'm going to go stare at for a minute while I play this. Yeah, long before they were on uh, that, uh, that terrible night show, they were actually... 
uh, playing real music. So here's real music by The Roots. The voice of the man, that is the Roots and the Seed 2.0, which you seem to take objection with. Well, not objection to necessarily. It's just I have a lot of different thoughts about it. There's this, like, uh, uh, message about procreation. I don't necessarily get what he's saying about it. I am both confused. He mates for life. He's like a swan. Well, that's a beautiful image. (laughs) 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 
uh, we like the sound of it, however far fetched. Right. Is it far fetched? Yeah, this show is not about biology, so mm. we'll just go with the imagery. Well, this is art. The show is about art and poop. Are not known as monogamous, you know, mating for life creatures. They're, well, no, that's true. Um, actually, a lot of my friends back home refer to me as the anti-breeder. Whenever they bring their children around me, I mm -hmm. always mock their children. <laughs> yes, it's true. I mock babies. It happens. Aww. Deal with it. But okay. they're so cute and helpless. <laughs> no. No, they're not. They're not cute at all. But they are definitely helpless. Um, that's, that's fine. It's easier to drown them. <laughs> Yeah, I said it. Well, I feel so terrible for laughing at that. Yeah, you should. You're a terrible person. <laughs> Thanks, Decibel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I like to torture the... Uh, oh, uh -oh. Have you ever noticed how people you get along with great in the default world, if you bring them here, their true nature comes out, and you're like, what? <laughs> <laughs> it is true. Ding. Um, so, where was, oh, okay, so, in Camp Envy, somebody just shouted out in Camp Envy, the, the, the little whole chat room and place mm -hmm. where everybody watches the webcams and they, like, talk about their experiences because they're not at Burning Man, so Camp Envy, they're envying the fact that we're out here. Gotcha. Uh, um, someone just mentioned potato salad, so I have to tell the stupidest potato salad story that I know. They're asking for a particular potato salad story from you? I don't know if they were asking for my particular potato salad story, but I'm going to share my but potato you, salad story. you have one. I do have a potato salad Jeez. story. Okay, so a friend of mine that left um, early this morning to beat Exodus because he wanted to go hang out in San Francisco for the weekend. Who would do that? Uh, my friend Deck. Gotcha. He was actually with Camp Red or Green, which is out at uh, 8 and Extraterrestrial. Oh, yeah, they're cool. They have awesome food. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's nice to have a little touch of home. They're actually working on um, trying to help network so that we can get our uh, regional going in ah, New Mexico. Yeah, well, that's cool. But as I digress from the point of my story, wow. Potato salad. Potato salad. I have ADD. Have you noticed that? <laughs> what? Um, Let's so, go ride bikes. So, Damn you. Potato salad. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I was at a festival a few years ago, and it was like four in the morning, and none of us could sleep because we were way, way, way drunk and cracked out of our minds. Gotcha. Um, let's just say it was a three-day festival in... Um, uh, Palm Springs, California. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't. I don't want to, you know, announce brand names or anything like that. But that uh, would be advertising. That would be uh, uh, corporate and consumeristic, and uh, not decommodification. Back to my point. Damn it. Jello salad. I mean potato. I mean. I hate you so much <laughs> right now. Picnics. It's the Poppin' Bottles Poop Show. <laughs> okay, so potato salad. So there we are. We're like we're laying around camp. We're like trying to fall asleep. Nothing is working. Nothing is working. Finally, we start to fall asleep. Like all of us are just crashing out, and a parade goes by. A bunch of people running around in their underwear at like 4:30 in the morning. Mm. Um, they run past. They wake up the entire like campsite. Shuck a doodle doo. It was awesome. Except for the fact that um, after they all took off, there was this one guy that was really, really out of it. And he was screaming for potato salad and saran wrap. Wow. He, he needed both potato salad and saran wrap. Oh, there we go. There's corporatism right there. How about that? So much for decommodification. Oh, crap. Let's say cling wrap. Is that <sighs> generic? That's fantastic. It's cling like film. Cling film. Thank you. Cling film. Okay. So he was screaming for potato salad and... Uh, cling film. Thank you. And so I just always have this memory whenever anybody says potato salad, I have to start laughing. Dang. Naked man, underpants, potato salad, cling film. Oh, boy. DJ Gray is going to top my story. You are a story topper. Potato salad? Yeah! Cling film. Potato salad! Oh, okay. <laughs> we need more music. And a Head nap. desk. Hit. Head desk. I, I have something awesome here for you. We need some twerking going on out front of BMI, our headquarters right oh, here. Oh, you think so? We need some twerking. Who in on earth uh, knows how to twerk? Actually, let me... Damn it. I want to play the song, but I want to tell this story now. Pre-event. Now you um, have to. Yeah, pre-event. Um, heavy equipment and transportation, uh, which is located like right down the block from us over at like 515 in Esplanade. Yes, sir. Um, that's where all the cranes are. That's where all of the awesome DPW heavy machinery people are and all the transpo people. They've got a great bar, and they had a twerk contest here um, pre-event Tuesday night. Wow. And... They were playing like more New Orleans bounce than I've ever heard in my life, and I was so envious I wanted to go over there, but I was already in my tent and kind mm -hmm. of trying to pass out. And let's face it, I'm lazy out here. Mm -hmm. Well, so, once you get cozy, it's hard to hard to 
you know. Mm. Anyway. You were going with what there? I, I have no idea. Awful lot of honkies in here. All right. So, yes, this one, let's let's send this out to uh, our, our friends over at Heat. DPW, love you guys. Thank you so much for all you do, and thanks for reminding us of all you do. And uh, <laughs> this is also an implicit invitation for anyone to come in front of the radio station and twerk, right? Let's get some twerking on. Okay. Um, I don't know what the hell this is. I just know that I like this song. <laughs> PMIR 94.5, the voice of the man. Get ready. Give it to me now. Oh. Make that thing pop like it's semi your nine. Ooh, baby, like it raw with the shimmy shimmy yan, huh? ASAP, yeah. get like me. Oh. Never met a motherfucker fresh like me. Yeah. All these motherfuckers wanna dress like me. But oh. the chrome to your dome, make you sweat like me. Cause I'm the nigga, the nigga, nigga. Like how you figure, getting figures and fucking bitches. She rolling switches, bought her bitches. I bought my niggas, oh. they getting bent up off the liquor. She love my licorice, I let her lick it. Oh. They say money make a nigga act nigga rich. Oh. At least a nigga, nigga, rich. I be fucking bras like I be fucking bald. Turn a dyke bitch out, have a fucking bars. Peace. I love bad bitches, not my fucking problem. And yeah, I like the fuck, I got a fucking problem. I love bad bitches, not my fucking problem. And yeah, I like the fuck, I got a fucking problem. I love bad bitches, not my fucking problem. And yeah, I like the fuck, I got a fucking problem. If finding somebody real is your fucking problem, bring your girls to the crib, maybe we can sell. Oh, I know you love when this beat is on. Make you think about all of the niggas you been leading on. Make me think about all of the rappers I've been feeding on. Got a feeling. That's the same dudes that we speaking on Oh word, ain't heard my album, who you sleeping on? You should print the lyrics out and have a fucking read along Ain't a fucking sing along unless you brought the weed along And just, okay, I got it. Then just drop down and get your eagle on Or we can stay up at the stars and put the Beatles on All the shit you talking about is not up for discussion I will pay to make it bigger, I don't pay for no reduction If it's coming from a nigga, I don't know Then I don't trust it if you coming from my head And motherfucker get the bussin' Yes, Lord, I don't really say this often But this long dick nigga ain't for the long talking I beast I love bad bitches, not my fucking problem And yeah, I like the fuck, I got a fucking problem I love bad bitches, not my fucking problem And yeah, I like the fuck, I got a fucking problem I love bad bitches, that's my fucking problem. And yeah, I like the fuck, I got a fucking problem. If finding somebody real is your fucking problem, bring your girls to the crib, maybe we can solve it. Yeah, ho, this the finale. My pep talk turned into a pep rally. Say she from the hood, but she live in South the Valley. Now vacated in Atlanta, then she going back to Cali. Mm. Got your girl on my line, world on my line. The irony, I fuck them at the same damn time. She iron me like a nigga don't exist. Girl, I know you want that day. Girl, I'm Kendrick Lamar. Mm. A.K.A. Benz is to me just a car. Mm. That mean your friends just need be up to par. See my standards are pampered by three subs tomorrow. Mm. Kill them all, dead bodies in the hallway. Don't get involved, listen what the crystal ball say. Holly, Barry, Holly, do ya? Holla back, I'll do ya. I love bad bitches, not my fucking problem. And yeah, I like the fuck, I got a fucking problem. I love bad bitches, not my fucking problem. And yeah, I like the fuck, I got a fucking problem. I love bad bitches, not my fucking problem. And yeah, I like the fuck, I got a fucking problem. If finding somebody real is your fucking problem, bring your girls to the crib, maybe we can solve it. Oh, BMIR 94.5, the voice of the man. I think I, I think I just saw some chick twerking outside. Oh, my God. Was, was he, the, the girl in the white. Uh, Why did you wait until the very end? Uh, I, I can't believe we missed it. She should have been twerking on the stairs because there's bonus points for dangerous behavior at that's, Burning Man. Yeah, we could play another song that that's twerkable. We can totally do that. As a matter of fact, I've got one that you say you've never heard before. You've never heard. I'm not. I've seen this T-shirt and the hashtag, but I'm... So I know what it's about, but I'm not sure I've actually heard the song. Well, do you? Uh, this song teaches an important life lesson. Okay. 
If you're drowning in the pussy, just swim to the butt. That puts so many vivid pictures in my head, and I don't know what to think about any of them. All right, let's just play the song then. It's BMIR 94.5, the voice of the man and the pop and bottles poop show. Oh, uh, god damn it. It's the Moombaton version. Are we okay with this? Yeah, totally. <laughs> okay, fine. Butts bounce to Moombaton. All right. It's the motto. <laughs> it doesn't say that it's the Moombaton mix. I hate my computer right now. Dang. Ugh. BMIR 94.5, the voice of the man. So I popped my head out the door of the studio to see if anybody was actually twerking. and um, Were they? No. God damn it. <laughs> No, no, they were not. What were they doing? Um, okay, so there is, are a... Where'd Shh. that come from? Hello. <laughs> Calm down. There's a bunch of older... Um, um, um. Hottie Kudarati. <laughs> Hottie <laughs> Where'd that come from? So they're they're just <laughs> <laughs> So there's a bunch of people just sitting outside around our burn bell and every single one of them is tapping their feet to the beat. Aww. Awful lot of honkies in here. Yeah. Wow. So um apparently no twerking going on. Um maybe maybe booties don't bounce to Mumaton. No, after I'm, all. I'm starting to think that may be the case. We're learning our lesson the hard way. Yeah. You know what they do There's bounce lots of to? Learning going on in here right now. I'm gonna go to San You made me hit it. This is your fault this time. How many is that for me? Is that number two? That's gotta be like five or six. <laughs> um so I am going to play something that um, Bay Area people will know. Some Bay Area hip hop. Aww. Yeah, let's let's take it. Um, Bay Area folks get all the fun. Apparently, Bay Area folks are like 90% of the burners as far as I know. Yeah, weird. I mean, there's like us and San Francisco and, folk. Jeez. And now Gray from Eugene, Oregon is going to come in and start going. <laughs> I'm just going to play the song. I see somebody coming up the stairs and I'm rushing this song. Quick, like, hit play. Yes, it's BMI on 94.5, the voice of the man. Good boy. 
Boom shots. Weird. Boing. Why that's weird. Brewer. Boing. Hello, everybody. Hi. I'd like to introduce you to the Fizzle Dance. Fizzle Dance? Fizzle Dance, I said. Mm. Can I do the Fizzle Dance? I do like this. Like to put a look on my face like I smell some piss. Bounce to the beat till it start to hurt. Then I dust all the smirk off me shirt. Then I dip to the ground as I catch the bass. Then I wipe all the sweat off me face. Then I back up, then I start to slide. Hop in my color as I glide. Then I break the thing down and do the bird. Dust myself off like I just told third. Come on, everybody. Now's the chance. You know, so all them shake as the dizzle down. I hope you got you a juice a fizzle, because it's time to pop you a few. Then you gas break, start the gym, down with the core and the start the gym. Open up the core, those the whole damn car low. I pile the follow, why you let the car roll? Go ride the whip while you ride the strip. Get your chance to do your dance on the side of it. Why you ready? The passenger and drive a swim. Fill up and jump back inside the shit. Why you hanging out the rooftop? Do not get fooled out by them fool cops. They trying to have you got nothing to that. You and your boy cool kid. You want to learn the cool? Stay tuned to this. See mama freaks? Get your man. And show them niggas how to do the sizzle dance. The voice of the man. That's the fizzle dance. You know how? What? The fizzle dance. Fizzle? Fizzle. Fizzle. You, you, T H I Z Z L E. Yeah, you never had a fizzle. Thiz, like a fizz face? Like. Maybe. <laughs> it sounds like something I would have. A fizz face? You didn't listen to lyrics of that song at all. I didn't know. That song's pretty much. No, all. we were talking about other things. Oh, that's right. Yes. You apparently don't know who Big Daddy Kane is. I, you know, we've been learning a lot tonight. And yes, why stop? Why um, stop now? All right, I'm gonna take I'm gonna take you back to some really really old school hip hop okay. right here, and then maybe we'll we'll work in some Big Daddy Kane or maybe uh, some old school Ice T because I freaking love Ice T. Or that uh, Sugar Hill Gang song where the see. grandma raps over it in that Adam Sandler movie. Huh? Cricket. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> <laughs> take two. Let's try that again. <laughs> Yes, there's the snort. I Damn it! Ask for the snort and it shall appear. I'm, ah. I am so proud of myself right now. Shit. 
That was you just summoned the snort. I did. I, I I hippie manifested the snort. God damn it! I was like, I put my intentions out there into the universe while I was holding space here. And and it reached its tentacly, whatever's into my sinuses and caused this noise. Okay. All right. So blowfly. We're gonna learn about some blowfly right here. This is like one of the original dirty gangster rappers, like long before Two Live Crew. Okay. You know Two Live Crew? Sure. Okay, fantastic. Then you'll know uh, you'll know where some of their filth came from. This is Blowfly on BMIR. Jump off no block. Jump off no block. Cut off no cock. Cut off no cock. Scar out no broom. Scar out no broom. Too soft no wound. Too soft no wound. Too soft no clutter. Too soft no clutter. Too soft no witter. Too soft no witter. Beat it no skunk. Beat it no skunk. Bring it no cunt. Bring it no cunt. Good evening, motherfuckers and cock suckers. In case you don't know, my name is Blow, along with some super talented friends of mine. What do you get when you add a portion of fish bone, chili pepper, and a taste of blowfly? One hell of a motherfucking groove, baby. down your throat swallow it baby oh stick your dick in my mouth that was okay the okay. stick it in your ass that was fine but the masturbate we got a complaint from kidsville so if you could just please stop it it's safe harbor but it's not really 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 safe harbor so please don't say fuck shit damn it you, you stop that stop it stop it your mic is off you you no you no why why would but, you and, why would you, you do you're that? fine with shake ass and you're fine with the rest but not the others. Why would you do that? Wait, wait, wait. But you could. No, Never let's. Mind. No, no George Carlin bit in here right now. I'm, no George Carlin. I wasn't trying to be George Carlin. Mm hmm. <laughs> do you hear how your voice just went up three octaves when you said that? So, no Captain Jack by Billy Joel. No Cap. Wow. No, no Billy Joel, period. Let's no just. Billy Joel, period. We'll just cut that I, off. I thought we were pretty far away from Billy Joel, but maybe not. Um, it's a pop and bottles poop show. Anything can happen. We were talking it's the about poop and bottles pop show, Billy Joel poop stick show. That would be entertaining. Um, so we've decided to take a left hand turn here, I think. Um, or maybe we've just taken a U turn. I'm not quite sure I'm just what it is. Upside down and backwards. Okay. That's all I know. So we were talking about Big Daddy Kane and Ice T, and I ain't playing that because you wanted to hear Prince, and um, yeah. you didn't know what decade of Prince you wanted to hear. Now, here's the Any thing. Any of them. No, after 1993 with New Power Generation and beyond. Prince sucks balls. Just. But he's so cool. Prince sucks balls post new power generation. But he feels empowered about it. I'm sure he really enjoys sucking. No, Prince. 
instead, I'm going to play you uh, some Morris and some Jerome. Okay. I'm, I'm going to educate you on some Minneapolis now. <laughs> you, tell me you know this song. If you don't know this song... You have to play it first. I'm throwing you out of the studio if you don't know this song. Okay. All right. Hit me. Not yeah. literally. Damn it. It's BMIR 94.5, the voice of the man. It is the time...
BMIR 94.5, the voice of the man, the seed of that, and, and the chicken head. <laughs> so that is uh, Morris Day in the Time, Jungle Love, mm -hmm. Morris Day and Jerome. Now, now do you recognize? Uh, oh, Amazon? sure. Oh, sure? Are you yeah. sure? You no, did? I totally okay. did. Purple Rain? Yes. Fantastic. I'm glad that we brought you up to speed. Jimmy Jam's in that band, too, by the way. Okay. Um, all the guys that made Minneapolis sound a thing and then went on to produce Janet Jackson. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. Weird. Yeah. It's Minneapolis music <laughs> in the 80s, which was a terrible decade for music. <laughs> Just saying. And now Gray's going to come in here and argue with me about that. I can already tell. Just stay, stay in your chair, Grace. Unless you're out of beer, you stay in that damn chair, okay? That's all I'm saying. Um... So Caliban, I believe, is coming up next, and so we have time for exactly one more song. So okay, um, okay. we went from Jungle Love. Now, think about it. Morris Day in the Time also did a song called The Bird. I decided to be a little bit literal for the last song here, and so I wanted to play a song about birds. Um, perhaps you know about a certain um, mm, ornithological element. Mm, um, I, I thought My I, uncle? No. no. No, I thought everybody had heard about the bird. What? Exactly. It's BMI on 94.5, the voice of the man. <laughs> when everybody's heard about the bird. The bird, bird, bird. The bird's a winner when the bird, bird, bird. The bird is a winner when the bird, bird, bird. When the bird is a winner when the bird, bird, bird. The bird's a winner when the bird, bird, bird. When the bird is a winner when the bird, bird. The bird's a winner when the bird, bird, bird. The bird's a winner when the bird, bird, bird. When the bird is a winner when the bird. BMIR 94.5, the voice of the man. Now you know about the bird. That was unusual. You've never seen me dance like that before, have you? No. Did I just have a seizure in my chair? I couldn't tell. I was doing the monkey. Okay. Sure. Yeah, I mean, it's hard to tell in the sitting seated position. The moves are different. You adapted the monkey. I, I did chair dance the monkey, I'm not going to lie. Mm -hmm. It was intense. It was a little intense. I have to get the down to that The trailer shook a little bit. Yeah, it did. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> All right. Anyway, Caliban's coming up, so I guess it's time for us to get the hell out of here. Mm -hmm. We're about like 15 minutes over. Uh, he's coming up. Once again, a reminder, folks, plan to leave early if you need to be back in your hometown in your <laughs> default world boring life. Wow, I'm really selling it right there, aren't I? <laughs> Um, once again. Wow, I really want to go back right now. You should. As a matter of fact, you would beat Exodus. Oh, <laughs> see, I get it. See, the thing is, not a lot of people are leaving the city. I can't imagine why. Mm -hmm. But when all of a sudden everybody's in a big-ass hurry to leave after the man burns, guess what? 14 hours of traffic. Mm -hmm. Maybe more, maybe less. I'm saying 14. That's my official guesstimation for the year. 
Are you ready for 14 hours of uh, Exodus? No. How about 30 hours of Exodus? Nope. How about seven hours of Exodus? Uh, probably not that either, although it's preferable. Then leave early. Okay. Um, Bye. Yeah, great. See you later. Bye, chicken head. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Just kidding. I didn't really leave. I think they got that. <laughs> you know, if you get sweaty and want to take your shirt off, that'd be just fine. That's okay. I'm feeling great. Mm, fantastic. Okay, so again, uh, if you want to get out, you want to make sure you avoid Exodus, leave now. Leave soon. Leave before the big burns start. There's mm. been some awesome burns tonight that we've totally missed because we've been stuck in the studio. Well, we saw the mirror. We did see the mirror. I that was, was actually, pretty rad. I was actually broadcasting through that, but I could see that clearly in my through the door here. Because with, it was so big and beautifully engineered. It was pretty awesome the way it fell. I'm going to give it yeah, that much. Like that was totally. That went up faster than I think any burn I've ever seen. Sure. Yeah. I mean, that was really freaking quick. Okay. I don't want to have a recap of that. <laughs> um. So we're going to get out of here. Okay. That way you can actually go have fun tonight while I'm here babysitting the station <laughs> and a bunch of drunks. <laughs> I'm on babysitting detail till 9 a.m. Aww. You know? Maybe. <laughs> what? Nothing. What? I can't drink tonight. I have to be responsible. Aww. I'm in charge. That How's that for comedy? I'm in <laughs> charge of BMIR tonight. Oh, man. I have some extra baby wipes you could use if you need them. What is that going to do for me? I don't know. It's comforting. Are you suggesting? You know, I don't even know what you're suggesting right now. <laughs> I don't either. Are you trying to say that my existence at On Playa is so lonely that I just need to finish it off myself <laughs> with baby wipes? Because I will let you know that as of right now, my six-year streak of not getting laid on Playa is still intact! Still intact! Listeners, that sounds like a hint. That's not a hint. I've just given up at this point. I was just reminding them all. <laughs> the more you know. No, you don't get one of those. Oh, come on! That was perfect! Donnie, you're out of your element! How's that? Does that make you feel better? No. Actually, you know what? I could do. Um, I Should I tell the same story again this way? It's been okay. six years on Flya for me. And I've never hooked up with anyone. I've made out with a few chicks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure, I brought a girl home last year. But it didn't really lead anywhere because she did a bunch of drugs in a porta potty and passed out in my tent. That makes it harder. And then she woke up the next morning. Mm -hmm. She gave me a kiss on the cheek and said we'd have lunch. Then she blew me off for the rest of the week. Six years. Damn. I've never had sex at Burning Man. Mm. It's the sad music that really makes it... It adds a poignancy that wouldn't otherwise have been there. And people that actually know what this song is probably find this hysterical, because this is the walking song from the Hulk TV show from the 70s. Oh, jeez. <laughs> On that note, I think we've, we've said enough, really. I'm going to let the man we've with a plan... Um, come in here in just a few minutes and he's going to rock your socks and uh, make you grab your junk. Um, Is he going to come into the studio? I don't know. As long as he's not wearing assless chaps for a change, I'm always great to see, like, very happy to see Caliban, so he's coming in. There was a kilt on tonight. There was a kilt. You, you're I'm, probably safe. I'm betting he's still not wearing underwear. And he's going to sit on the same chair that we all sit on right here. But the kilt is there. It's a very substantial protective I layer. need to turn this song off for the love of God. <laughs> It's PMIR 94.5, the Can't voice of the take man. Take all this poignancy. I, oh, God. We, no. Why, who told us we could do a show together? This was a terrible idea. You did. Oh, yeah, that's right. It's because I'm the manager. <laughs> PMIR 94.5, the voice of the man. Caliban's up next for you. Uh, we'll catch you back tomorrow for the man burn, because I'm not doing nothing until then. I'm going to sleep it off. Dirk and McDirk. What? Parker. There you go. <laughs> Signing off. Push the button, and then we go away. Meow. It's really I'm trying to fill time here. Where is Caliban? I don't know. Is he talking to a girl? We should play that Far Side song we were talking about the whole set and never played. I don't have it. What? No. What? I don't have that. This was like an hour and a half long fake out? Um. No way. Have you met me? Damn it. This is probably part of why I don't get laid out here. That and the fact that I have like no ability to talk to women. Obviously. <laughs> You've learned this. Dude, sort of we've been talking this whole time. So what you're saying is I should play this song? Yes. Okay, not signing off. It's BMIR 94.5 <laughs> with the Pop and Bottles Poop Show. Still going strong. Poop Show. Play! There it is.
school probably at three o'clock. I was on her jock, yes indeedy. I wrote graffiti on the bus. First I write her name, they call her bus. With my name last, from the looking glass. I seen her yesterday, but still I had to let her pass. Dream of fairy tales, I think of me and Shelly. See, she's my type of hype, and I can't stand what brothers tell me. That I should quit chasing and look for something better. But the smile that she shows makes me a go getter. I haven't gone as far as asking if I could get with her. I just play her by ear and hope she gets the picture. I'm shooting for her heart, got my finger on the trigger. She can be my broad, and I can be her. All I can do is stay up. Back in kids, we used to kiss when we played truth the day. Now she's more sophisticated, highly educated, not at all overrated. I think I need a break. To get in a book and it looks rather dry. I guess a twinkle in her eye is just a twinkle in her eye. Although she's crazy stepping, I try and stop the stride. Cause I won't have no more of this passive vibe. Time for me to voice my opinion. Can't be pretending she didn't have me. Strung like a chicken, chasing my tail like a doggy. She was kind of like a star, thinking I was like a fan. Damn, she looked good. Downside, she had a man. He was a Rudy too. A Nick and Poop. She told me soon your little birdie's gonna fly the coop. She was a flake like corn and I was born not to understand my letting the past. I proved to be a better man. I wish I wasn't such a wimp Cause then I would let you know that I love you So when if I was your man then I would be true The only lying I would do is in the bed with you Then I turned to send the one who loves you dearly P.S. love me tender But the letter came back three days later Returned to sender My R 94.5, the voice of the man. We're still here. There's... Yeah, we are. We... See, Caliban came in and then he disappeared again because he met somebody he hasn't seen in a long time. So he's saying hello. It, it so... was a tender moment. Yes, it was very tender. <laughs> 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 it was tender. In his pants. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> now, I need some sleep mm -hmm. or some booze. I'm sober right I now. Have Is that some terrifying for you? In my hand right now that you could be drinking. <clears throat> I, I do, but I don't have the password. Do you know what the password is? You have to guess. What the password is? To the password the booth. is very simple. Knizzle came up with this password a couple of weeks ago. What's that? <clears throat> it's a fantastic password. Are you ready for this? I accidentally hit it earlier, so you may have okay. heard the tease, but you were really confused by it. <laughs> so the new password for everything at BMIR is very, very simple. Okay. Hottie Kudarati. Hottie Coot? 
Urati. Hadi Kudarati. Now, it, does that mean I have to pour the bourbon over the computer that just said the password? Why would you do that? Because it said the password. Said the password. That's an interesting question. Oh, sweet irony! That was totally the wrong key, but. <laughs> You want to hear Benita That's Applebaum? Like Let's Alanis do that. That's like Alanis song about irony that is actually not ironic at all. I want to play that. Okay. Because I keep getting yelled at by tilapia. tilapia. 11th grade English students, here's what not to do. How to be ironic? I don't know. Fill time. I have to type this in. I, I, <laughs> Alanis Morissette, search. Uh, where is it? Uh... Okay, so he's hunting uh, and pecking one finger at a time on the keyboard, squinting oh, oh, desperately the the into person. the display. And I don't have it! Oh, jeez! You know what I do have? What? One hand in my pocket. That's fine. That's great. Let's do that. That's a terrible song. So? You know what? That's a very good point. Say no to nothing at Burning Man. Say yes to everything. <laughs> it's the best way to do things. Keep Burning Man uh, potentially fatal, safety third, mm -hmm. uh, bacon, bacon, bacon. Uh, what and let's just go ahead and keep Alanis Morissette in the picture. Ah, what did I do here? I don't I've know. Just... This sounds like something different. It sounds like an art car outside. It does. Oh, there we go. There we go. This still doesn't sound right, does it? It doesn't. It's soothing. That sounds like soft rock. It does. Well, that yeah. That's why I just oh, relaxed Mr. a lot. Mr. Talavia Jones here uh, with some soft, smooth oldies for you on uh, uh, the, the oldies station. What is happening over there on the computer? <laughs> I don't know what this is. This is incorrect. Yes. Yes, it is. In that case, uh, I don't have one hand in my pocket, but you ought to know that already. See, now that's a segue. That's what I'm saying. Bam! Right there. What's up?
KMIR 94.5, The Voice of the Man. Yes, I'm still Decibel. That's still Chicken Head. But I'm here. Captain Cluck. God damn it. And Caliban is actually here now. Hi, buddy. Hi. Hi. Just shout out louder. So Hi. You, yeah, see, now you don't have to I talk in the microphone. I'm going to my uncle because he's actually listening. Hi, well, uncle. Well, actually, he, probably not after I, all. No, not after all my hip hop. <laughs> no, there's no way. I played some of the most gangster rap that I know how to play. Oh, come on. Awful lot of honkies in here. Exactly. Yes. Amazing, yeah, I'm bringing heard, out my laptop heard, like, next time. I've never heard the word nigga so much. In wow, the wow, no, no, he just dropped that. What okay. Did he do? I just dropped it. No, in song. the song is okay. Yeah, in a, the song is all right, sir. Yeah, as a white person, you say the N-word. I, I said it with an N-word. However, as a white person, I can a call you a cracker. That's true. See? See I am I am a cracker. Oh, sweet irony! Now that was used properly. Anyway, none Wait, of those really? Are my shows, no. What? None of those in my show. None of those in your show. Okay, Caliban's the coming up. Is going to be Nancy. Nancy. Okay, fantastic. Okay. Um, Nantucket. 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 There once was a man from Nantucket. Oh, see now. You know what? That's a story for another time. Uh, it's yeah. BMR 94.5, yeah, the voice of the man. Story. Caliban's up next. Good night. Bye. Bye. Later. Bye. You've seen all kinds of shows, but you've never seen anything. Like the Rocky Horror Picture Show. They're probably foreigners with ways different than our own. I'm just a sweet transvestite. See the Rocky Horror Picture Show performed by the Six Minute Players, a different set of jaws. Friday night, 11.59 p.m., located at Videogasm in Snowflake Village at 8.30 and E. Come, give yourself over. To absolute pleasure. Can your heart stand the shocking facts about BMIR 94.5? The voice of the man. BMIR. Silophage by the Flaming Lotus Girls is a landscape of decomposition and renewal, a monumental environment constructed of metal, wood, fire, light, and sound. The sculpture revels in the beauty of fungi and the critical role they play on this planet by capturing the eternal cycle of decomposition, renewal, and rebirth. Fire and bright lights beckon participants to the remains of a colossal tree destroyed by a forest fire. Surrounding the enormous 20-foot high tree stump, larger-than-life fungi sprout from the remains. Two giant mushrooms have buttons that make them shoot fire into the air, a hallmark of the Flaming Lotus Girls installations. Three other huge mushrooms cast light and sound onto the playa. The shadowy ghost of the tree spreads out on the ground, suggesting the tree's former beauty. An ethereal firefall trickles down shelf fungus growing on the outside of the tree, gathering in a basin within the roots. And within the hollow stump of Xylophage's tree, there are more fiery wonders, and a ring of benches that make for cozy seats under the open sky. The great unending circle continues. Life ends in destruction. Destruction brings new life to spring forth yet again. This is Lala inviting you to visit Celestial Bodies every day from 10 a.m. to 12 noon for our Celestial Chill. Whether you're an early riser or returning to camp in the wee hours of the morning, come take a load off and enjoy comforting classical music in our lounge. Celestial Bodies is located on the 730 Plaza. We'll see you there. Now, Oil Drips with J.D. Rockefeller. When you're done celebrating the fact that your beater got you to Burning Man, please make sure it isn't dripping oil on the playa. Remember, the dust beneath your feet is all that is mortal of ancient fish swimming this lake. That's sacred enough. That's eternal. Motor oil won't improve it. Hello, ya shabab! My tribe has traveled across deserts and deserts and deserts all the way from the Persian Gulf to enrich you with the scents, the sounds, the taste, and very generous hospitality of our Bedouin culture. Yalla! Please join us for some Eastern Temptations at the Desert to Desert Tent Spice and Vice Camp, 7 and Biggie Size. From high noon to 3 p.m. Tuesdays to Saturdays. Don't come Sundays because we won't be there. See you soon, brothers and sisters. Yes, sir. Just what is Polly High Tea? First, it's a tea party. We will be serving tea and cookies. All you polyamorous, polycurious, and polyfriendly folks out there on the playa 
are invited to join us for a discussion about the practical issues of loving more than one in an open, responsible, multi-person relationship. There are many workable forms of polyamorous relationships. Polyamory is polymorphic. There is much wisdom in the poly community which can be helpful to people trying to make any relationship work, monogamous or polyamorous. There will be a facilitated discussion in which you can get your questions addressed and some of the knowledge in our community can be shared. Poly High Tea, 1 to 3 p.m. Monday through Saturday at Poly Paradise, Biggie Size and 445. Burning Man is about mind-blowing experiences. Send yours on a substance-free trip expand your consciousness without any aids, add new perspectives to your world, come to nine energies to learn how to activate your superpower at will, learn about the nine active energies, which one is your superpower and how do you activate it. The human journey encompasses connection to source, others, soul and self, and once in connection to transformation. Where are we and what is most alive? What is possible? How do we actually do that and how do we do it without force together? Visit the Nine Energy Subcamp, sober please, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. every day to experience your superpower activation and find your gift to the human continuum. Nine Energies, know your superpower Monday through Saturday, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. at Poly Paradise, Biggie Size and 445. Thank you for joining me. This is DJ Caliban at BMIR 94.5 FM. This is a band called Skiffington, a band I was once in. Pretty sure, pretty sure I'm in this track, actually. What a fucking day. Today happens sometimes. Shouldn't. I didn't, uh... I didn't take my Adderall today, so, so which is apparently a theme on the station. But I actually need the stuff, so you see, I actually need the stuff, so you guys are kind of fucked, and I'm gonna get pulled off the air probably. But hey, let's have some fun while we're there.
it up loud right now.
special radio television broadcast in order to give you the very latest information on an amazing phenomenon. BMI on 94.5, the voice of the men, the voice of Black Rock City. Yeah, well, right now it's the voice of me. Sorry, but it's true. Billy Squire, how that shit rocks out. It's impossible to not see that, right? Like, I try not to speak in extremes, but really... How come that guy's second album was so kind of, eh? He's still, he should be doing stuff, man. That guy's talented. Boy Squire, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know what we had before that. I'm not logging him. This is DJ Caliban on Friday night, heading in toward New Year's. This is New Year's Eve. I guess it's Friday morning, but whatever. Friday's New Year's Eve, so that's what it is. Wait a minute, what date is it? Good God. <sighs> okay. Anyway, hopefully uh, I've got some friends out there listening on the stream. And I'm sure that thing he's always wanted to hear 
on FM airwaves is this. It, and it's not the Butthole Surfer song I'm about to play, because I know you don't want to hear that. But what you want to hear is, fuck Clear Channel. Am I right? Yeah, uh, fuck Clear Channel. Butthole Surfer. And they have moo cows. So this one is uh, Celestial Seasoning. Somebody you've probably never heard before. The song is called Lonely Man Burning. Like, duh.
my book, it's the mystery can't control. The women, alcohol, and the misery your best friends call. You got your share of all this reality. TV somewhere, keep dreaming. Hurricane that rose is big enough to choose a path. A dusty curb scars it made her sound once red war. The love you're searching for is closer than the nearest bar. Keep dreaming.
was real as you whisper. She lies warm in the smell as you.
something who generously donated very awesome resources above and beyond the call so we really appreciate that there's a bunch of stuff about exodus i guess they're trying to tell people to leave early or something i'm i'm not gonna be part of that know your plan read your ticket <laughs> it's more important to read your ticket but but yeah know your plan decide what you're going to do to get out of here and avoid any hard feelings in camp and you know that's when some, somebody always fucking melts down a group of like eight or more people somebody melts down on strike take care of each other expect it to take a long time retain your community retain your community the line is your community too every place you pass through really unless you choose to remove yourself from it, either consciously or unconsciously. (laughs) 
but you got a ticket and you wanted to see something burn, so <laughs> stay until you see that something burn. Just retain your community. about him. He told us stories by the campfire, cooled from the racist garbage of the insidious sax rumor. East is evil, west is good. Suddenly a badger erupts among the boys. Don't know why he did it, just playful, friendly, and inexperienced. Like the Aztec Indians who brought fruit down to the Spanish and got their hands cut off. So the counselor rushes for his saddlebag and gets out his 1911 Colt 45 auto and starts blasting at the badger, missing it with every shot at six feet. Finally, he puts his gun three inches from the badger's side and shoots. This time, the badger rolls down the slope into the stream. I can see the stricken animal, the sad, shrinking face, rolling down the slope, bleeding, dying. You see an animal, you kill it, don't you? you? Might have bitten one of the boys. The badger just wanted to run up and play, and he gets shot with a 45 government issue. Contact that. Identify with that. Feel that, and ask yourself whose life is worth more. The badger or this evil piece of white shit. As Brian Geisen said, Man is a bad animal.
need my conscience to keep watch over me To protect me from myself So I can wear honesty like a crown on my head When I walk into the promised land We've been too long American dreaming I think we've all lost the way Has the pain within her And we'll go dancing in rings of laughter That we belong by the shores Fair long in the rounds of rapture Sweet and long for the Lord the heart Fair long somnambulistic maniacal in the dark
is uh, DJ Caliban here at BMIR 94.5 FM. I hate to do it, but I just kind of had to, you know. Take care of each other.
used to be a one of the best in the world, and you like to feel that. Used to be a one of the best in the world, and you like to feel that. Used to be a one of the best in the world, and you like to feel that. Now you're all gone, got your makeup on, and you're not coming back. Can't you come back? Used to be a one of the best in the world, and you like to feel that. Used to be one of the right and ones, and I liked you for that. Now you're all gone, got your makeup on, and you're not coming back. Bleaching your teeth, smiling, flushed out.